Breaking news now from the east side where a large scale SWAT situation is underway with a man police believe is armed with a machete. Sue Kalberg has been talking with neighbors who watched as SAPD chased this man around the area for more than an hour. Now they believe they have him cornered in an apartment. And Sue, did the man threaten anyone with that machete? Absolutely, Deborah. I talked to one man who said as he walked out of his apartment, he ran face first into that guy. And uh, he said the guy was waving the machete wildly. Everybody describes it as a large machete. He said the man said he wasn't afraid to die. So yeah, people consider that very threatening. Now I'm gonna stand out of the way and I'm gonna say, we are not giving away any tactical information. This is the backside of the event, if you will. Now, police know who they're after. They have been calling this man by name on a loudspeaker for well more than an hour. They're urging him to surrender. They're telling him that they're gonna be patient, that they will wait him out, that that they're not going anywhere. But for the people here whose street is blocked off and who've been encouraged to stay inside, this has been a wild afternoon. See, he ran through your yard? Yeah, I came by. I mean, I was inside. The, the guys uh, from the apartment said, hey, don't go to the back. It's a crazy guy out there in the back. So I went to the back and checked. And I saw the gate was broken on the back side. So I don't, I don't know which side he went that way or this side. So you didn't act Now, this uh, started with neighbors saying he had a machete. Then some of the people here said he was firing shots into the air with a gun. Now, police, as you can see, they have all kinds of tools here. They have shields, they have long guns, they have tactical support. They say, and we're all hoping, that this does result in a peaceful situation. There's, they say they're prepared to wait him out. We hope that's true. Live in East San Antonio, Sue Kalberg, Kens 5.